Hello everybody and welcome to game number 12 of um, Dead Fantastic, the semi-final of the UK BBL. In the, fi in the semi-final is Forest Elves which with a record of 9-1-2. So this is actually 9-1-1 because his loss was a spa day which got rid of his um, miss next games and stuff. Um, as you can see he has... He has some dodge play. He's got four dodge play. Oh well, he's got a rog, so he's got he's got four guys with block and dodge, kind of, and three dodges, and he's got um, you know some stuff, pr pretty much what you'd expect from wood elves. Um, I'm obviously going to cheat a wizard in with 50k of my own money because it's basically silly not to. Um, guard on the mummies, stand firm on one of them. Pommer jump ups. So obviously, he's going to try and get the ones that don't have dodge. Um, a tackler there. I'm not really not happy about tackle there, but you know it's important for the next couple of games if I make them. Agility for sure hands is pretty great against them. Um, War dancers. Tackler again not ideal, but needs must dirty players in case a war dancer ever goes down. And uh, my record now looks shit. Unfortunately, I did win ten, draw one, and lose none. But the spa day gave me a loss, which is um, which is a bit shame to have a loss on the record. So. Um, Thank you very much, everybody. So, um, yep, now I shall just leave you with Lupac. And not with Lupac. Fucking hell, don't turn off. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Shit, I'll leave you with Fashbinder, who's really good at commentary. And um, I shall turn off the video here, and I shall mute myself, and I shall leave you with Fashbinder. Thank you, and good night. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'm, I'm just Lupac today, then. All right. How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Today we're going to see Jimmy Fantastic. He's going to be uh, playing his undeads. <laughs> wow. Mala's going to be losing his shit. Right. So normally I would choose to kick. Right against um, against Wood Elves with a one turn threat with a strip sidestep catcher and, and a reserve. I want to whittle them down. However, the fact that this could go to overtime means that I want to receive because obviously the offense is under the most pressure to use their rerolls to main, keep control, keep protection of the ball. So I want in the second half to be able to pressure his ball, make him use his rerolls, and then. Um, and then hopefully, obviously, I, I won't need to use any on defense. You don't have to use them on defense, do you? Because you expect them to score. Um, so you don't really have to use any rerolls on defense. So, well, obviously, I might end up using rerolls on defense. This is why I'm going the slightly strange play of receiving against a one-turning man. I tell you, somewhere you're kicking. I mean, so that does open up the early score into then... Uh, Jim scores turn eight into one all at half time into Jim scores on 16 and wins. So, yeah, I think kicking is a fine. Idea. Means he has to stall till late, really. And if he wants to make that turn 16, one turn touchdown, it's with no rerolls after 16 teams are getting banged on. 16 turns of getting banged on. TM. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Normally, I would have. Normally, I would have kicked a hundred percent. But it's it's just it's just the overtime is is in my mind. Yeah. I mean, dancers can still do it. The one catcher. One catcher. Tell you what, if you take it that catch, the, the one turn becomes a little bit harder. Third push. Oh, what are you doing, Jim? There you go. Is that your warm up music? <laughs> oh, they can't hear you. I can. Gotcha. <laughs> he, he was making moaning noises, everyone. <laughs> oh, 
Right, so uh, strip ball dancer into sure hands, not super scary. Otherwise, tackle. So yeah, look, leaving for one d two success. And if Jimmy's positioning is three guard, look, it might be somewhat hard to get. Maybe also not. And maybe the tackle guard, which I, I didn't mind tackle guard like, for a team that only otherwise would have one on a goal. I think uh, I think having that tackle guard is a good idea. Ducky's tackle guard against an iron did wonders in that when the cage was pressured, he was he had the tackle to clear it as well as having the guard to protect it against the dancer. So uh, I quite like it over Mighty Low and just have the man take out the non or the unskilled people. Not a blitz and intentionally kicked short. The kick skill. So yeah, his idea on the offense must be early pressure. I like it. Protecting the ball. Tackle guy now relevant. <laughs> Didn't one in 27. Have to be pleased about that. Now with the two of us on the right, I'm sure the zombies will come along to further protect the ball and screen off the field. No frenzy to worry about, so the sideline is somewhat safe. It is an edgy 4 shorthand school, so the pickup becomes a little less scary. Still scary though, anytime you don't pick up the ball, you're disappointed. be a play to protect the mummy from getting tied up in the tree somewhat as well as riding an assist for the dirty player maybe The double one on the armor just happened as well on the armor roll. So if the ball pickup came first, uh, it'd be on the ground in a lot of trouble. But now, yeah, ball safe. LOS blocks made. Uh, Jim using the zombies to tie the down lineman, forcing the more difficult dodge or getting on a zombie. And I wouldn't even hate it too if I was the Woody. I would still get a lineman assist on the zombie, get a three dice with the tree. Let's see, tag the mummy. If the mummy's tied up on the tree, you're not really too. Then again, that's all committing base contact. I think it's equally fine to just scream. There's another eight turns of hopefully just one block per turn. If you can limit it to one block per turn as a wood off on your opponent's offense, you're usually going to win the game. It's when you get tied up and ground down that you start to encounter issues. 
to maybe uh, assist on the number 10 zombie on the right into the Dancer Blitz to clear. And then the elves dodge out on two pluses, and then it's a tree tying up a rotter. I think his Dancer Blitz on the Ghoulmits might be a bit too overzealous. And the white being able to palm anyone he wants, or the uh, white just getting a 2D. My Dancer. Wow, what a madman. Get punished. So by making the screen early, he then walked around his screen, his two-man ult screen. Uh, for whatever reason, made the screen first before making the dancer blitz. And then, you know, even risking the 1 in 36 is better than risking the double GFI? Who double GF... No, sing... No, double GFI. Who double... ...to the game? Absolute madman. For no reason. It wasn't, you know, a, a two-dive lock to hit the ball. It wasn't a two-dive lock to anything amazing. It was purely just a greed lock on a ghoul to hit the AV7 man, which is fine. It does come at the cost of exposing a couple of elves. Especially valuable elves. But but that could have been a no-dice blitz on the ball. That next real and That is poor. <laughs> uh, Jim did a great pre-match uh, interview stating his uh, opinions on the league and who he's playing next match. And he is playing Hippie in the final, if he, if and when he wins this. And, you know, just based on that play alone. Maybe it's just nerves. Poor old uh, Exelia says I'm facing the, the mighty Jimmy Fantastic. Legend of the arena. Slayer of Theocles. Yeah. Yeah, there's even just inattention too. Every game I play, like, no joke, almost every game. And as soon as I do it, I immediately regret it. Lament as to how much I regret having done that. And I know better. Like, it's, it's never something as... It'll be something dumb like, uh, oh, you know, one square across to make it a four plus dodge rather than a three plus two plus or something. You know, it'll be something minor like that, but it's still a mistake that I shouldn't have made. And that really makes me sad. Yeah, look, Dirty plays a little bit far away, but it's his only tackle. And if it's only his tackle, it's his, only, it's his best shot about getting the ball off the shorthand school. So yeah, wouldn't wouldn't hate the foul on the tackle dancer. Uh, hello, uh, Choboran. I just got back from England. Uh, so, uh, I've got, I've got, I, Jimmy Fantastic, have a good schedule. I listed somewhere on my channel, maybe? No? Not yet. Soon, I, Jimmy Fantastic, will have a schedule on this channel. I'm going to stick to that schedule and uh, give you guys a reliable source of entertainment. Nice Vanga Boss Cage. Essentially forcing the more 3 plus 2 pluses. So the elves that were dodged out that did make the 3 plus 2 pluses without a reroll, uh, you know, had they failed any of those, uh, extra armor roll on AV7. And while he didn't get lucky in those first two, you know, if he keeps it up and really looks to pin those men in that don't have dodge, like the downed number 5 line in. That will eventually pay off just on its own. And if 
I'm not sure if Jim, the, the screen you're watching, has it, but if you were to left click on a Wood Elf player, you'll see the tackle zone, so in the areas of the field that Jim controls. It makes it a lot harder for the Wood Elf to move around. And so field control while protecting the ball, while making rolls harder for your opponent. That's what you should always look to do subconsciously, even consciously. So uh, second block on the wrestle bull. It's probably a good target, the wrestle bull. It's, this is Jim's best, one of his best shots to get down to the answer. But once again, uh, exposing the tackle. Madman. Mark in the tree. Well, I really, really, really should have looked for that, shouldn't I? Holy shit. This is another reason why I always sack niggle players first so I yep. don't feel them accidentally. Fuck's sake. When he's removed next block and he's down a man on a uh, seven on the injury roll, or six. Yeah, so look, he took his time thinking about it and had decided to bring the tackle dancer. So yeah, wouldn't even be bad just rotating to the left. But I think this will be the turn that we see the pom in action without the hit on the tackle dancer super easily. Can't imagine it. Not happening. Yeah, well, that's, that's what he's there for. Yeah, so hitting number four lineman, right, when Jim piles up, if he doesn't get lucky with the zombie, uh, when the tree pushes the zombie, um, the tree's then marking the piled on guy, or the... And you don't want that. I mean, that, that's sort of the, the one job of the tree, is ideally two, less than agi three lineman and just tying up a two-for-one trade. While, yes, you can look at it and say the tree is worth more than two unskilled zombies, it's more, you know, it's one less man assisting, one less man straining, three or nine less squares on the field that uh, Jim doesn't occupy, and that, that's a trade that I'd make any day. Oh, got him. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can't see any reason why not. I, I do that once again. I'm sure Jim will tag a unskilled lineman that will have to roll dice at least to move. While also then controlling parts of the pitch. Maybe screening out the dancers from rotating behind the cage somewhat. And so then the other thing I like to do is think about... Know that the tree... You assume that'll happen, 
And so maybe the zombie just back one square, maybe even... Maybe even two, just so when the niggled, <laughs> niggled zombie mark in the tree goes down, the tackle zones uh, are maintained. I think it's another subtlety with this play is uh, the Woody has blitzed the Wrestle Ghoul every turn so far to great detriment. They were terrible blitzes. Well, at least the first one. Um, still exposed, the Wrestle Ghoul, but with Jim having made a solid push on the left side, which was always a weapon, uh, the blitz might be even just even just on a uh, zombie. I think maybe even, even on the mummy with the... Uh, He's got no guard. Yeah, but then anyway, needless to say, the blitz wasn't going to be coming. And then when just looking around at who's your host, there's no one really worth blitzing outside of a zombie. And tackle was so far away. Hello, everybody. Oh, yeah, sorry, I, I, I won't be responding to anybody because obviously Fash is doing the commentary here. But um, I think that's something that I always try to do is try to try to make it so that my um, my worst players are like the most blitzable targets, if you like. Yes, as, as Fash was remarking there. Yeah, exactly. Looking around, there's just no one that's worth doing. Like maybe number two zombie, just because the tree's sort of still in the midfield. If he just makes a middling screen around the middle and the number two mummies on the ground, it's sort of almost committed you to the left on turn four. So if like tree blocks niggled man, uh, blitz came on ten zombie, and then with the, the assist took down the mummy, your in zone goal would be wide open, but I'm, I assume he knows that you want. I assume that he's playing for you to score, and so he doesn't really care. Well, I guess he does. He, he can always turn six, seven, eight, and leap. But we, when you've got that dominant field position, hearing everything else, and not having a mummy get mighty blow hit. In the same way that the tree ties up two rotters, the mummy and the zombie being on the ground, and the rest of the team's almost the same. Oh boy, some Madden play incoming. He won't be following this Pommer. It's a stand firm mummy too, so even on a push, counter box being... Uh, only with a one-man bench. Fair enough. I mean, that's always the issue with, uh, you know, the killer. Some opponents will say, oh, look, it's... <laughs> I mean, no, no one wants to be done. Every team, right? And this, this is where Lupex right and some people criticize him, is that having a Mighty Blow Blitz on any team isn't a bad idea. If you can Blitz with Mighty Blow on your Blitz action, you'll eventually get a Kaz at some point, or even just a KO against any team, even AV9. If you think 16 Mighty Blow blocks on AV9, that'll eventually break armor. Wow. I mean, didn't die, but that's a... What, one, 140k white? Yep. Alpha is stun, and he's, uh... Down two for the drive. Yep. And this is that's the worst thing about Blood Ball and the worst thing about Fowling. It's that it, it just truly is a coin flip. 
there was little skill involved in rock clicking on someone on the ground with an unskilled player. He hasn't paid any price for it. He was an unskilled lineman. Took no time to develop the unskilled lineman, and it's just created an enormous swing in the game. Not just for this drive, but for the overtime format that it is. And so that's, that, I guess that's what made it worthwhile. Didn't want to get grinded down. But I think if there was a send off there, uh, being down two, would let Jimmy keep the ball safe, aggressively mark, and you know start the grind. I mean, a, a pom blitz is always going to be blitzing out towards, never going to be, you know, 100% protected. Uh, you know, maybe on the LOS, maybe turn two, but once you're making a pit, you drive down the field, there will always be some sort of, there was, there was a mummy. <laughs> nope, shouldn't have. Yeah, and look, even the goblin referral rules wouldn't have wouldn't have changed that result. I don't know. I just don't like it. I mean, many times we've seen in the final, uh, Ducky and Anarin. I think both times, Anarin's fouls didn't get caught on whoever it was the Ducky had. Uh, admittedly, they weren't successes either. But uh, with his eleven-man team, not getting kind of a big deal. And I, and look, I, as a risk, I don't think he needed. To, well, he down men. To a team with no mighty blow, but that's always going to be the case with Woody's at heavily. But yeah, but I, I don't know. I, I just don't like it. There's just no investment. You know that, that that's the exam. That's that there was the epitome of my objection to Fallon. Yeah, me too. I mean, okay, I'm, I'm on. I'm on for everyone else now because I did get wound up a little bit. But he, he committed to a one dice blitz on a fucking stand for mummy, which is basically as about as suicidal as you're going to get in Blood Bowl, right? And Literal then, point flip. And then, yeah, it's 50-50. You just get stuck. Two players get stuck against me. Three dice is a catcher here. And I get the blitz in with Mighty Blow piling on. And then... And he doesn't have tackle. If he had tackle as well, fair enough, go for it. Because then he's a huge threat to him. But he's only a threat to the shitters. He's not a threat to, like, his actual good players. I don't know. I think it's a bit crazy. It was a bit wild committing so much. But obviously, once he'd, once he'd one dice powered the mummy, then obviously he had to foul. But, um, well, he didn't have to. But, I mean... After he's made that commitment, but it was a big commitment to make with without any guarantee of success. If I just left him in the middle of the pitch, then fair enough, fouling. But I hadn't. I had, a, I had a fucking mummy with Stan Fern protecting him, so I thought that was enough. Obviously, I was wrong. It's a bit of rustling. Maybe, maybe the change I'd make then is yeah, every Kaz is a send off. And so he still, you know, made the risk when taking the risk, made the man commitment, at, you know, what, what little man commitment it was, and right click a man on the ground, requiring no skill. But for it, for it to be for free, for it to be absolutely for free, it's just so dirty. Doesn't consume a blitz, isn't a skilled player, no investment, and gets gets the result the same as a, you know, 140k claw bomb beastman. It's not even salt though. Like whoever with the VJ salt and jet, it isn't even. It, it's it's just this shit part of Blood Bowl, more more so than quad skulls. Quad skulls, no one can help. It just happens. Whereas this was a, a choice to flip a coin, flip a coin twice and the one D on the mummy, and then flip a coin on the foul. I mean, admittedly, if I was 
if I was bad at blood bowl and I had no idea what I was doing, um, I, I would throw a foul if I, if I knew I was playing against Jimmy. I would make every 1D, I would make every foul because I knew that would be the only one. And if I just had rudimentary skills and, you know, had no, no idea of, you know, what to do outside of me screen and that sort of, you know, the very basics, that's what I would do. And 33% of the time we'd win or one. When you foul and don't get caught, you just win the game. And it sucks to lose a game in that manner. Well, let's not forget uh, he's got a 100 TV ad advantage. And it is about as suicidal as it gets. Blitzing a stand for a mummy because he's strength 5. He's given up with 3 dice on him. So, like, the only thing worse would have been blitzing a, you know, blitzing a stand firm Chaos Warrior, basically, with Claw Tackle or something. He's pretty suicidal, giving up a three-dice block on his catcher and a two-dice blitz on his other guy. St stunned. Eight. Six. Seven. Thank God the, the, the niggle didn't cost him. I need to get the fuck away from this tree man soon, though, don't I? Holy shit. Scary tree. Yeah, it is turn five. Jim's not far from a situation that only is the number four lineman in the centre. Uh, could even let's get a follow-up block from the number ten zombie, rotate back around, and then maybe uh, the DP does a weak screen on the tree just so it doesn't base. Yeah, so it looks like with the successful block, a nice finger pass on the right hand side. Pretty screened. And the real advantage, right? So often with most teams that I play, I don't try to push really hard. It's just the ball's safe and I'll wait for my opponent to overcommit. Uh, yeah, it should be something stupid on the ball. That usually just happens in generic. I see some rowdy stuff from this uh, Woody, there, but nothing, nothing out. Well, aside from that, that foul tap, the double GFI hasn't gone needlessly ham, which I guess with only two turns, only fifty percent of the time has he done. But this is a good spot to be. I guess that's the grand summary. I I don't mind waiting a little longer. To but as a slow bash team being in this position in that Jim can score whenever he wants uh, middle of the field uh, area there's only four elves and so an elf screen will be insufficient for the diagonal movement of so Jim can score whenever he wants and he cannot be screened and has wisely given a uh, another zombie to the tree to stop that from busting through the cage He, wa he wasn't exposed, Wolfin. That the suicidal thing was blitzing a stand firm mummy after you've based him with two of your players, including a strength two player, which you can three dice with mighty blow. He's got stand firm. He's, he's, he's strength five with mighty blow. It's about as suicidal as you can get, making them one dice. He's not going to make a minus two dice blitz on me, is he? That's, that's just completely fucking moronic. I mean, he's not going to do that. He's got the final. So... It is about as suicidal as you can get. He's got a hundred TV advantage, and I'm um, sure I've got a wizard. But you know, he's not. It's not like he's got a ridiculously underdeveloped team, and that's his only chance is to go for a one dice blitz to get a foul in. I, they, one dice blitzing is pr is a, a mummy after basing him, leaving your side your one your one turn threat to get three dice blocked. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty suicidal. It's about as suicidal as anybody who's decent at Blood Bowl is going to try in a match. It's pretty suicidal, yeah. It's about as... It's, yeah, I'm, I'm, I stand by that. It's about... Notice that I left out the the minus movement guy to get blitz rather than the wrestle one this time. So I, I know he likes blitzing the ghouls, so I did that for him. Um, 
So yeah, yeah, it's pretty suicidal, Wolf and Peer. It is. It is pretty suicidal. For for a good player, it's pretty suicidal. Obviously, he's not going to minus. He's not going to fucking red dice because that's just fucking horrifically bad, isn't it? Um, and he just he just had to get the knockdown. Otherwise, his his, his catch is getting crushed. His other guy's getting blitzed. He might be getting fouled as well. It was crazy. It was a bit of a crazy play. The blitz was a crazy play. Obviously, he's going to foul after he's done it. Yeah, look, anything that's sort of a four plus, right? Unless it's I get the ball and I win, and I just win the game, like that—that's that's the sort of requirement for a four plus. Or if I don't make this four plus, I lose the game. When you get into coin flip territory, you just need to not be, <laughs> and then you need to not do four plus. That's a, that's a general summary. The payoff has to be absolutely huge, and to get a what two assist foul on an AVA, three assists maybe. I wouldn't flip a coin for that. Flip a coin to get a one and three. Unless I was new to the game and I was playing purple goo. Purple goo guys are really good. And I'm like, wow, I've only played 10 games. Why am I playing against this purple goo guy? I, I won't be able to beat him. Well, I know you won't, Fash. Oh, I better foul him then because that, that'll be my only way to possibly even come close to winning the game with his you know, superior TV and you know, super skills or you know, veteran experience. That's right. Some people's game plan revolves around winning through four pluses and coin flips. It's not. It's not a good, consistent way to win global matches. You can do what you want. In fact, uh, Shawnee has a a nice uh, long beard team. His entire game revolves around four pluses. And unsurprisingly, it doesn't win a whole lot. But it's good for a laugh. And good for uh, playing generic call matches. But in a league final series, you wouldn't think so. Maintains the dominant midfield position, tree tied up. Yeah, so the assume will be much the same, except this turn, as it is Jim's turn seven next. It'll be scoring on eight. It'll be wanting to score on eight. Maybe this is the time to start applying pressure if I was the Woody. So maybe Wrestle Man tags Ghoul, or Dodge Man tags Ghoul, Tackle Man bangs the Lodge Ghoul, gets Tackle onto the ball, dictates Jim's blitz. Yeah, look, if, if I was the Woody having got the 50-50 coin flip into the Dirty Foul, the uh, KO uh, from the tree the previous turn now has, well, they're even on the field, so the all-mans isn't terrible. Yeah, and this is a situation that I think the all-mans... Like, you wouldn't do it from turn one where there's eight turns again banged on, but yeah, turn seven, I think, I think that's fine. Doesn't happen though.
No, no, the, the foul and, and one deal mummy is objective. If you if you leave your game and your blitz and all your players base to to get a four plus, it is objectively an out right? it is an objective risk. That's a summary. It it is a risk. It is not a risk that I don't think you'd see anyone that was in the uh, you know, finals of any of the champ ladders do or like the finals. It's not something you see good play or people who consistently win do. It is a low percentage poor play. So that's the summary of it. Yeah, a bit odd. Or maybe the big play comes turn turn seven, or it is turn seven. I mean, so the entire undead team can move into a dominant scoring position. Uh, presumably, Jim will have guard on all corners, so any dancer leap will be red. Dirty one and eighty one has the dancer on his face. Yeah, and then the tackle dancer is just sort of on the other side of the pitch, and so with the even just a standard X cage would be the uh, the GFI from the tackle dancer. Yeah, look, there's always the risk when you reroll a two die block that doesn't turn you over, and that following block could be a double skull. But I think Jim had a plan for blitzing the dancer, and then based on the result from the dancer block, you know, if it was the success on the 35% you know, tackle stumbles, uh, might have moved the cage differently. Might have had the mummies in a different spots. So, I mean, that's the rationale for not having moved the ball first. Is there was a play based on what happens. And so, well, yeah, it, consider safe first. I think he had, a, he did, a, um, I'm sure he had a plan. It's just your standard X gauge banging. Also, people call it a YouTube gauge. Wouldn't have minded the goal a little bit further to the right, but I assume the mummy would have been further to the right if the dancer block was successful. <laughs> Yeah, and so the dilemma now is that tackle man potentially. Uh, yeah, so Woody, to, uh, Woody here, two choices, one being the tackle loop. Uh, probably want to be from the south side as the mummy guard takes the left side. Could do it from the right side, but he might struggle to cancel the dirty player. Coming from the bottom is not too bad, knowing that the block to be a power stumbles. 
all tackle zones will be at least two man marks if there's no ridiculous fumbles to a ridiculous square. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, seemingly mummy would have been up one square. Yeah, I really wanted to get this mummy up here, ball carrier here, and the zombie behind him. That would have been amazing. But now he's got the three plus for a five plus. But then there's still plenty of tackle zones around it, but Yeah, of course he makes a leap. It, it, it would just be annoying if your short hands was Of course he gets powered. <laughs> But I mean, there's got to be two tackle zones on it, hasn't there? Unless I'm yeah. really fucking unlucky. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, mummy! <laughs> mummy touchdown. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, so look, a lot of people, right, when they first play Blood Bowl and they first load up Wood Elves for the first time, the very first thing they do, turn one, is leap into a cage. There's a reason you don't leap into the cage every single turn from turn one. It's not a high percentage play. Yeah, this was fine. I mean, this and was now, my... a three plus five plus. Absolutely, on turn seven, I'll do that every day of the week. Yeah, would exactly. you do it turn one? Would you do it turn two? Mm -hmm. You wouldn't. Is that you? You hold off on those low percentage plays for a time that really matters. Yeah. And so uh, turn seven's fine for it. Yeah. But if people are having trouble determining what is play or what is a bad play or what's a bad one dub that sort of stuff it's I, it, there's only so many times where you can point out you know why something might be good or bad and they, they look at it and say oh no one die with block that's the best play you can make <laughs> and it's not yeah but there are times where it is good and times where it's terrible yeah and so this was a time where a 44 percent yeah that's all I, all i wanted my percentage chance of play was much better than his wasn't it I just needed a fucking powers dancer on two dice with a reroll, and then I get to say I get the cage completely safely, and instead I fucking don't. Woody's done alright here, and the blodge step on the ball, uh, with the edgy man on the ground, there's no 2 plus handoff into a touchdown. Tackle on the wriggles, a bit of a risk. Yeah, all I can do is the 4 plus handoff, isn't it, realistically? <laughs> um. Yeah. Can't, I can't blitz away because he's got him behind him, which is all right. So it's the bolt. Oh, and I have enough. Got side <laughs> step, so the bolt, the bolt yeah. isn't, isn't great. I think four plus to the dirty player, and then two GFIs. What? I just can't cancel see. side step. Yeah, gr grab does, but not on a blitz, does it? It still doesn't help me. <laughs> well, I mean, if you were to bolt one and then blitz the other. Oh, yeah. But then, in, and then GFI. And GFI. Yeah. Yeah. Bolt one, blitz the other GFI. It's shitty to use you, was it, on offense? It's really shitty. Yeah, bolt is so painful if you get count by a one turn touchdown. That is a very good point. That is a very good point, isn't it? No scoring threat. Right. Can't make any dodges. So, the only players... I can't go higher than this. That's really fucking annoying me. Um, he can go there for the assist. Then he can three dice blitz him. And then if he pals him, go to here. Then he can blow... Oh, no, it doesn't work. One, two... Because then I could move him through there, couldn't I? That's potential. You could go three and blitz him. Yeah, okay. So this... Uh, 
He goes, no, this he's there. Shit. I don't want to just two dice him. I guess I'm going to have to just two dice him. So it's a handoff and two GFIs. Isn't that shit? Doesn't have a canoring threat, does he? <laughs> no. No. No, we're disappointed. Oh, yeah, of course, we're all the one. Hey. If no only way, I'd got yeah. that. If only I'd got that power there, so I could have just wandered through for the touchdown here. Now I've got to do two fucking GFIs. Oh, if I do this one, this is a. This is only fails in a one. And then I could go one, two, three, four, GFI maybe. So while it technically adds another roll that can fail, if it's a four plus, no, if it's a five or a six, if it's a push, one, two, three, four, GFI. On a push doesn't save a swing. Yeah, if it's a push, then I go one, two, three, four, GFI. If I have two plus pluses with. Yeah, but one has the pit, one has the chance of killing somebody. Exactly, yeah. So as long as it's a push, both down both down doesn't help. Both down doesn't but help. Then doesn't help. So on that basis I guess, is, I guess it is a three plus. This is better to um, to score. More baby. Trip wire of course. Mm. Fucking joke. Fucking joke. I guess if I'd made the assist to make that a three dice. So I've had six dice on this war dancer and haven't haven't knocked him over. Which is a bit unfortunate, isn't it? But maybe I should have made that three dice, then then the one dice for the power would have made that better. Also I could have just pushed him to here actually. Oh no, that one, two, three, four. Then it would have then a push would have saved one and it's the same difference. No oh, no. Yeah, so it was slightly harder to do the block. Yeah, of course, of course, my play was more likely than the Woody Leap. And the, and the foul. <laughs> yeah, Skeleton would have yeah. that. Yeah. Do you know what game isn't a luck based game? Conan Exiles? Yeah. It's like uh, Rust and Ark. Hasn't really innovated in any way, but you said I games like don't do that these days him. anyway. Oh, he no. gets some power my dodges with his mighty bow, doesn't he? Oh, baby. Good. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's one of those games, sort of like an MMO, where you have to just get in the zone and admit to yourself that you're going to be hitting a rock with a stick for you know a good majority of the gameplay. <laughs> but by hitting a rock with a stick for six hours. It lets you get, you know, 30 minutes of destroying someone's life. Hey! <laughs> yeah. I don't like that. No, I wouldn't think so. Just it's so laggy and so unoptimized that I can't really... No, I don't think so, young Nathan, but obviously you can choose not to use the catch skill in the real world. Which I don't. Actually, I was what... I was listening to your stream the other day and, uh, and Conan farming and heard a uh, cool story about break, tackle, and dodge, and I didn't even think of it. Yeah. But it's a really good point, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> when you've got two dodges and you want to uh, save your break, tackle for the more difficult one or not, Sean did a great play with a death roller where he had break, tackle, and dodge, and made the first dodge on, on a six, and so didn't use break, tackle, yeah. and uh, you know then changed his mind as to what he was going to do and for you know, four strength break, tackle, uh, going through two tackle zones. But it's the same sort of concept, and I thought that it's a really good point. Thank you. I think you should make a YouTube series of every time you explain some eccentricity or why yeah. Bolt 2 has done something wrong. 
Yeah, yeah, that's not a bad idea. So, like, Jimmy's eccentricities could be, like, the segment name. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, like the break tackle, the kick explanation. Because, yeah. admittedly, you started out and you're just like, oh, it's just wrong, it's just bad. Darn, I just fucked it. And people don't know how. I didn't know how. Yeah. And then when you explain it, it's like, wow, that's a really good point. Mm, fair enough, yeah, I could do that then. To put them three squares back, so if I get the blitz, I've got a GFI with them. That's a good play. <laughs> but also so that the the it makes it harder for them to base them with a with a troll with a tree man, doesn't it? That's that's the real reason. Still got the wizard though. Obviously, nil nil's not a fucking idea. <sighs> Yeah, nah, bang, and what people are doing at the moment, because they're all shit retards, is they're making their houses out of sticks, and then when a guy comes with a sword and chops down their base and made out of sticks, they get angry, being like, oh no, how come my stick base wasn't impenetrable? Mm -hmm. And after that, they become slightly better sticks, and people make those slightly better stick bases, and someone comes up with a bigger sword and says, oh no, they, they broke down my slightly better stick base, this game's broken. However, for the people that aren't retarded, they make a brick out of reinforced steel stone. And the only thing that breaks through reinforced steel stone is the god that you summon or explosives. No one has explosives yet. <laughs> I made my base out of the tier 3 steel stone impenetrable shit, so no fucker with a sword comes along and breaks it down. But these <laughs> fuckers continue to build their little shit stick bases and get angry when they get raided. <laughs> Holy fuck, smoke, it rustles me so much. Even then, let's say you wanted to build a stick base. Think about it. How could you build a base in a manner that doesn't get you chopped down by a sword? You build it on top of a rock and remove the stairs. You've claimed the area, they can't build the stairs up. It's so easy to make an unreadable base, but some people are just so dumb. <laughs> just like in Blood Bowl when they make four buses. Oh man. <laughs> fires, up, fires me up every time. <laughs> he's got only got ten, I think. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The reason that he's still got all of his players is because he, he jammily removed my uh, jump up pommer on turn one. Yeah, look, it's a sad spot to be when you're only up one on the off. And now he's basically making more mighty blow hits than I am. Right, I'm going to fucking shut off this fucking chat. And mute okay. myself. Yeah, this will be an important drive. Have to think about the wizard in the back of your mind. And, uh... Who knows, he might just be content to score early. Oh, it was uh, kind of exiles, Tony. Hey. Right, so symbols of the screen, three to block with uh, the tree. Uh, protected dance of honorable edgy man. Well, oh, look, I'm never too disappointed when the tree makes the three die. I like seeing three die blocks, even from my opponent. When I see someone make a three die block, I say, good on him. He's not a shitter. And admittedly with the tree, not, not too difficult. I mean, same sort of, same sort of thing with the mummies. Yeah, the old uh, classic uh, Wood Elf ruse of the feigned screen left side, but with the sneaky catcher right side. I mean, it won't work on Joe, I'm sure he'll have an answer for it, but in cold, this sort of thing, if you look at the you know, catcher number 11, uh, 
often people will just go full ham left or you have a single zombie marking that which is of course easy to blitz clear and that catcher then goes to a scoring position and against a wizard i wouldn't hate it Uh, kind of exiles nomadic gem. The the Reddit and the forums are just filled with people. With. I think there are some flaws to the system in that the steel sword comes before the good bases. But there's just Jimmy, no reason to be retarded. This is your doctor. I'm glad you are feeling better. I guess the ascent to me was a success. Yeah, look, I think uh, if I was the audience, you make any blocks good on the base contact the that's made, which is looks to be what's happening. And he dance a bang on the uh... Thank you very much for the donation there. I assume it's Tony plays poorly, but um thanks Doctor. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Yes! Tony plays poorly! Oh thank you! <laughs> yep, yeah, something like that. <laughs> thank you. That's the one. Man, edgy man or dancer exposed. Yeah, but this was the right play from the Woody with the two zombie based contact. He doesn't want to do a potato, he just wants to score on 16, I'm sure, with the score nil all. So it's on Jim to use the wizard and turn him over or something to that effect. And so, yeah, just blocking down the rod of set our base. I mean, Jim can answer that with either the, the blip. No, I would like to see. Uh, and then the tree, maybe uh, bang him down just so he's not making a mighty blow. Uh, he's already done his job for the drive in uh, removing a rotter, making it 10 on 10. That's the other thing too, like uh, agile teams or any team really that has man in the backfield they're not making a cage around the ball and if they're not making a cage around the ball there's an extra four men that are committing to making a strong line or blocking people away you know creating you know stuff and so i i never when someone has a field i never hate sending at least one man to threaten just so they in the back of their mind say i need to blitz it which controls their blitz so their blitz isn't fixing the field uh or makes the cage or you know runs to a corner it, it makes it forces them to answer the ball so yeah that's just me personally it's not strictly the best or, or the worst but I, I always want someone to cage the ball because that's five men that aren't making a solid push down the field Alright, my bad. Zombies and rotters. Tell you what, I turned off the fan. This might have it not cut out as much. I think just the loud volume of the fan was running it. It's a good distinction, though, too, uh, Color and Lobby, is that Rodders and Zombies, while aesthetically look similar, uh, are nothing alike. In that Rodders do useful things and Zombies, zombies are just shields. Oh, it might not even be Carlo and Salotti. It might be Carlo and Salotti. Yeah, so look, down in the tree did tie up three men, but uh, it hasn't stood up, so it's not doing that anymore. And this is just posturing turns. Based on the Woody's play, everyone knows that he's not trying to score early. 
And so blocking that tree down so you're not taking a mighty blow hit every turn uh, is a good idea. Imagine if a uh, grab mummy had break tackle. I'd surf the dancer if he did. Looks to be a pressure turn from Jim. Ties up the tree, pins two men. Tags a dancer with tackle. And maybe we might even see Wrestle Ghoul. Uh, threaten the ball. Good KO. And back to up one for the drive. So the <laughs> sort of the place you expect to see undead. Even just a little bit morbid orbits. A little bit like Jamie Oliver. Fair enough, Wrestleman hawking the catcher. Catch is easily cleared. Yeah, with uh, there's a huge difference between and eleven men on the field, uh, especially against a movement seven agility team. It's a lot harder for the uh, for, for any bash team to cover uh, the width of the field. It's like man marking is one thing, which you can always do when you've got even numbers, but properly defending the entire width of the field at, with ten men is infinitely more difficult. And so I think that Woody prefers to play, you know, you know, nine on nine or ten on ten, than eleven on eleven, even though they can still score with uh, any of those uh, scenarios. The nine on nine really does. The nine on ten really does favor the Woody still, just with so much move uh, ground to cover. It's when they're down to you know six and seven that I think they start to struggle, and even then it's only a two plus three plus most of the time. Fair enough, maximizing the blocks. Gets a two down on the mummy this time. Make sure the dancer can then rotate to assist the catcher. With the lamin assist for the rotter. Oh my god. Oh well. I guess that's UK Bubble League done. Re rolling the chuffs, lads, lads, boys, lads. Yeah, I guess that's chuffs game it over. Is. I guess yeah. that's game over, really. Well, no, 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 the game, you can still win the game, but then next game with one mummy is fucked. Yes, it's absolutely fucked. Yeah, you, you you won't be hit his neck right. Well, I mean you could, but it's it's not likely. Well, you could. It's it's still likely. <laughs> I'm sure you're capable of winning any game against anyone if you just make safe plays. Don't do stupid shit. It becomes a lot harder, without a doubt. Yeah, doable, but much harder. It's funny that it wasn't even the block that I gave up. He used his blitz because I I think I didn't think he was gonna you know block him. So that's why like, you know. I didn't think it was that bad to base there because I just didn't think he would block him down. And then he he did blitz him. And you just can't stop people blitzing, you know? Like um, <laughs> in the other game where the last game of the season where my mummy got cast first turn, uh, miss next game first turn. Like you can't just have, you can't just stop people two dicing your mummies ever. Like sure he did it turn one, but there's going to be a point in the game where your mummies get two dice blocked. You, I mean his tree yep. got two dice blocked for fuck's sake. And you just, you just literally can't stop. You won't be getting two dice blocked at all in the entire match. And then when it happens and they get killed, it's you're done, aren't you? During the same stream that you made the break tackle call, uh, you talked about how you're scared to base people at all <laughs> just because a random block kills one yeah. of you guys. Yeah, exactly. it's, it's not even... It's, it's not, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it is, it is a difficult roll in the 11 into 10 into 68 yeah. into free gen fail.
So, sure hands on a bull center, are you? Mm -hmm. Farm up some SPP, get him block and dodge. I did do it in the OFL though. It's funny to just see his brain working. He does the first move, then he does the second one, and then he realizes he can leap. <laughs> so he, he got there. He got he got he got there in the end. That was pretty good, wasn't it? The fuck is this? At first he at first he pathed it, so he's gonna go three plus two plus. Then he was like, I'll just do one at a time in case I use dodge. Then he was like, then he saw the attack and he's like, oh, I can't use dodge. I'll just do a leap, and that saves me the two plus. <laughs> <laughs> so it was it was pretty funny that. Right, I want to foul this ward answer, don't I? I guess. Because that is my play. I can put a threat on now. Finally. I guess I should have had that there all along, maybe. I'm a bit disappointed, to be honest. An undefeated season. Yeah. I think, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. it was, yeah. Nearly 100%. No, oh, I got him! Okay, old. Really fucking got him. Oh. Mm, sure, uh, Heavy would have liked to see seen a death there. <laughs> I'm sure he would have, yeah. <laughs> no, to be fair, he's got, he's got his result, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Do you reckon that uh, ghoul back one? Uh, the uh, blodge ghoul? The Make the dancer uh, dodge a little more difficult? Oh, yeah, yeah could have done. Could have done, but then he wouldn't be in scoring range. True. Something to think about, isn't it, if I bolt? Yeah, good point. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the other good point. You do still have the wizard. You got the agi man open if there is some sort of downfield potato player. Mm hmm. Magic man nearby for if there is a bolt, seems fair enough. Got some removals now at least, but tough, tough having having a mummy dead and my best player taken out on turn one. Holy shit! Not turn two, whatever it was. Hmm. I mean, only up one though, but it's it's nice that it's <laughs> it's not been down one. Yeah, yeah. I've got three out, and he's got four out. One, two, three. How many places do you have? One, two, three, four, five, bench, six, me? seven, eight. He's got eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I've got like nine. So you help one player. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine versus eight. Ugh. Feels bad every dodge. It does, doesn't it just? Right, canoring threat, go. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's extreme canoring threat. I think I just want to go here. This has to happen.
Yeah, I guess the other thing to think about in these sorts of situations is, yeah, Wizard's still in hand, Undead scoring in three. Not unheard of. I mean, if every KO comes back, it'll be pretty hard. Jim's Kaz doesn't have the option of coming back. <laughs> I think if the KOs were Kaz, uh, yeah, I'd be confident in scoring in three. man cutting off the diagonal. Easy touchdown if he wants it, but yeah, three with three with a wizard is a chance, isn't it? Yeah. It's almost forced too, because the thrower doesn't really run away anywhere. And if the blitz comes on the lodge ghoul that's threatening, uh, everyone's just fully retreating. They don't really have two die blocks. The catch is really just dodging away. Yeah. There's no real easy way to dodge away unless the tree makes the uh, 2D for a success. Yeah. Even then it'll be the offer the same predicament. So I don't really see him not scoring in, unless it's just the full retreat. Yeah. And yeah. then, then it looks like he might not score at all. Yeah. Yeah, good point. Yeah, I'm totally re-rolling the chuffs if I can. If, if I don't win, if I win, I might keep them for another season. But if I don't win, I'm going to re-roll the chuffs if it's possible. There's a, there's a chance the way they're doing it. That if they're out on the 15th, you can re-roll. Basically. If they do actually come out on the 15th, re-rolls will be a possibility. So I think I will re-roll if it's... Even if I win. just Because <laughs> I, I want to re-roll the chops eventually, I think, anyway. If they really do come out on the 15th, I'd be disappointed if that, a, a league didn't let you play them. Yeah, but that's Seems the thing. Like, it's it is like, yeah, the, yeah that's, the, that's what they're doing. Though. It's something like... It's something like if they come out on the 15th, you can re-roll. If they come out on the 16th, then you can't, basically. Yeah, it seems fair enough. Yeah. And I think I will re-roll. And maybe it's not if I win the league. Maybe it's not if I win the league. <laughs> like, that's the thing. If I do win the league, which is obviously looking less and less likely at the moment, both in this game and the next one, thanks to that death. Yeah, because Flesh is a type that, I mean, without too much of an issue, and then you're just a 6 3 3 8 team. <laughs> yeah, you With just a couple a of your guys being slightly different. <laughs> with one mummy, you're a shit human team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that, that's really, really it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it really is. That's why I two, don't like Two pure blitzes. That much, yeah. He catches without catch, but they do have three strength. Yeah. Ogre without uh, Lena. Yeah, hello, G. Coleman, yeah. And Lyman that can't dodge. Yeah, yeah, they're really shit humans. If without with only one mummy, they are really, really shit humans. Well, OCC two sounds like a uh, a rubbish play. I'm gonna call up the the chief of the OCC two and be like, "Oi, mate, you should let people play that team that they want." <laughs> and they'll say, "Whoa, okay, Fash." So yeah, I guess he's gonna go the score with this lineman. So he's gonna make two two, two go for it to score. We'll probably fucking make it though, won't we? <laughs> it's pretty ropey, to be honest. I, I thought he would have gone for the one in nine. Uh... Three plus pass. I guess the two twos would make it easy, but he's got pass, hasn't he? So I guess he'll do, do the pass. When making a scoring play, seeing the first uh, one on the pass makes you like a breathe a sigh of relief. Yeah, you got the one in my sequence out of the way. I was tempted to put him behind there. Maybe I should have done. To make it a little bit harder. Cause it, it, but then he could have broken through here if I'd done that. So where's this stopped him? Stopping switching sides. Yeah. Would we'll just put the white then and the one of the six for the catch to score. Yeah. I think he could not have improved on that defense. Made the play to the catcher a one in nine. Yeah. Uh, but it's on the goal. Had to happen. So yeah. I, 
And then the catcher doesn't make double GFI, so that's where I really thought, yeah, the dancer blitzes the ghoul, and the catcher just catches it in the tackle zone. Oh, for now, he needs a reroll. See, I was hoping, even if he'd used a reroll, um, yeah. he's, he's down to one reroll for overtime if it, if it gets that far, but instead he just makes his two pluses after I get fucking banged on on my two pluses. Feels bad, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, so this would have been fine if it was 1-1 right now. I'd be kind of happy using the wizard to force through in three turns. For the win is all right. I could use a reroll every turn, use the wizard to force through the touchdown, and I'd be feeling pretty confident. But now it's just to make fucking overtime. I'm going to have to use all of my rerolls to force overtime and the wizard. Johnny Five, take 100 points from yourself uh, next time you're available. <laughs> Uh, I think Jim did a brief uh, pre-match recap and had 150 in the bank. Yeah, yeah, I've got 150 in the bank. Yeah, yeah, but I think in a final, would you prefer the mummy or the wizard against Tippy? It's a good question. The mummy could just get clawed out, though, couldn't he? But a mummy for 16 yeah. turns is better than a wizard for one turn, isn't it? Maybe. Um, I mean, yeah, maybe, and only maybe. I have got the agility four. Against the against the against elves, I'd much rather have the mummy because um, yeah, sporting dodges the, the wizard is just a, might blow. the wizard is just a bit shit against um, against uh, what's it called elves to be honest. I don't even have fucking blitzers now. Holy shit. This is pretty grim. One blitzer, one ogre human team with uh, four catches. Pretty good. <laughs> and then five linemen with agility loss. Mm. <laughs> with two MA loss. <laughs> yeah. Pretty rough. And he's got kick as well, so I should put me I should put my goal a bit further back. He's obviously going to kick deep. Yeah, isn't he? it's going to be deep. Kick coming into its own now. Perfect. Oh, defense didn't use kick. Well. Oh, it's shit! He kicked. He kicked it short. Madman. Didn't Absolute you, madman. Didn't... Then gets the perfect defense to put two, two the fucking tree on it. Oh my god. I was pretty deep. I was actually pretty deep, but I should have been deeper. Kick is actually on the sideline. All oh, right. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> Alright, he wasn't crazy. Because he, he, he did kick short on purpose the first time, didn't he? Yeah, he did in the first half. Who knows about this? That's yeah, it would have been madness. It would have been madness to fucking kick short this time. Oh, six on the scattered die. Like, what the fuck? God, a, oh, a touchback here would be sweet, though, wouldn't it? It would be amazing. I like this tree play. I think the tree play was amazing. Catches a little bit cleared away if it is short. Yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't mind putting a stick in the tree on there. I guess your rationale is that the tree then ties up three zombies. Yeah. <laughs> well, El Mato, um I, I wasn't I wasn't one of the two journalists that um was invited there, so I have no opinion on it. And I really need this touchback. Yeah, journalists. You didn't see me, but I was. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you. Journalists that um, that were invited there. Yeah. Well, I've got to go back, haven't I, to avoid the fucking tree? I can GFI twice and hand off to oh, his fucking movement six. Piece of shit. I can go here and hand it off to him.
Good. Ooh, made a two plus. <laughs> Sigh of relief. No. <laughs> That's the other thing too, like the, the Venga oh my god. <laughs> the double skull. <laughs> if Venga Bus could entice him forward. Or the rephrase and not Venga Bus could entice him forward and forward there's less men screening. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you've only really got the the ghouls to score with. This tackles miles away, which is good. Oh, fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you know, in a game that doesn't have. <laughs> it's Conan. You chop a tree, <laughs> you get wood. It's just banner. None of this, uh. You just need to make two die blocks safely. Spooky times. Look, he's got two rerolls. Uh, fortunately, he can't clear a path to get through without zero dice. He can't get it get through on zero dice, which is good. Yeah, if this was Lupak, it'd be 100% a touchback. Also, if this was Lupak, it wouldn't, he wouldn't have been outbashed by fucking Woody's Woody. Would he? <laughs> you know, he wouldn't have had his mummy dead and his pommer fucking cast on turn one. He would have just had, it would have been four players left, and the 4 2 2 he needed to score would have worked 100 fucking percent of the time. I did do safe players first, Lord RK. <laughs> I don't know what planet you're on thinking that I didn't, but I'm um, okay. It'd have been really nice to have got him forward up here. Yeah, that's where I like him. Oh, he just did one dice blitz again. Alright, good. I don't know what that was trying to achieve. Sidestep on the carrier, I guess. No. Just random. Yeah, it's a bit odd. Oh, God, that minus MA stopping him being a canoring threat. Disgusting. Maybe it was one for a push and a leap. It's just a bit ropey. I think if I'm making leap plays, I'm hitting the ball. Yeah. Yeah, it was just like, I just don't get it. Yeah, no. Nah. That's the other thing. It's been like a side of the... <laughs> the one D on the mummy, the foul, and the death. It's been a fairly lackluster game. Nothing, nothing truly. Like you just made, you know, the safest progression you could. Yeah. Uh, didn't get the stumble and the dancer. Oh, look, tackle, I was tackle, really unlucky not to dodge. score, didn't I? I need, I needed a two dice down a war dancer with tackle. If I get him down, I have a really safe cage. And then even yeah. after I don't have a safe cage, he still needs to make his three plus leap into a five plus pow, which he gets. Then I was pretty fortunate actually to maintain control of the ball, to be fair. There was, there was much yeah. likely a chance of the mummy not catching it. Then it's in one or two tackle zones. If it's in one tackle zone, he just picks it up easily. And, and then he maybe he defensive scores. But even after that, then I still just need a 4 2 2 to score. Or maybe a 4 2 to score had I got a pow um, on the one that ward answer. So I think I was pretty unlucky not to score in the end. On my drive, and then you know that you can't, you can't. As Lord RK is saying, you could do safety. Look, you can't do safety to plays against elves, can you? You know, you just you can't just do always the safest thing and expect to score against elves because yeah. The, I mean, this is a scenario where safe plays first doesn't exist. The, the play is people to scoring position first to not lose the game. Yeah. So safe play first is only when if you don't, you lose the game. Yeah. 
Like literally, there's yeah. there's not a lot you can do against elves. You you want to try and protect the ball. You want to score, but then you know if you, it's hard to do both, isn't it? It really is. Right. I'm just going to open with a two D. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I mean, this is going to be really hard. I'm going to have to go over here to try and score somehow. Um, one, two. God, I don't even know. I guess I'm gonna have to go. I can't go down this side. I've got to go. I've got to go over here, haven't I? I've got to blitz with this tackle. Come up here. What? Go over there. I can't see another way. I can. I could run around. I could hand off to him. <laughs> and run through over there. It's this is really fucking grim. I really don't know how I can score. Realize when you say over here, are you talking about the white blitz on the catcher? And yeah, white blitz is the diagram. catcher, yeah. powers him, and then makes some kind of a, some kind of a horrible screen over there. Yeah, I wouldn't mind moving him to goal in a scoring position first. But I can't. Is that the first action? <laughs> he's, he's not marked. The, the yeah, goal. but then I want him to go. I want him to dodge out to like protect the ball. Otherwise, oh. it's pure potato. Pure potato. Well, and then there's one Megan. Yeah, pure potato. Water and so it's not so <laughs> no. And he's not much of a fucking scoring threat anyway. Is he's fucking agility three? Double base him, and he's he's no scoring threat anyway. Just sad that he's not moving seven because if he was moving seven, he would have been a scoring threat this turn. Oh, got a knockdown! Unbelievable, Jeff. Right, so if the ball can get here somehow, <laughs> it's all right. If he pals him, this would be good. Oh, I've got a grab. <laughs> I could have pushed him there. Oh my god, what a fucking derp. Now oh, it feels bad. Yeah, I've pushed him in the wrong square, right? Because I was thinking I still had to dodge. So I can dodge and get him back to there or something. You can go over there, that's alright, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. <sighs> but to make that work, I've got to make a three plus with a reroll. Like, that's got any fucking chance of making that one at all. Wow. I made it three plus once. Yeah? Holy shit. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh my god, got to make a two plus now. Holy shit. Nope. Didn't snake? Amazing! <laughs> it's pretty unbelievable, the isn't fuck it? did that happen? <laughs> Actually shocked. Can I make... I'm shocked. ...a three plus two plus here? Shouldn't... Didn't need to make the first one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, all right, good. Wow. Literally unbelievable. That was really bad. The most probably. rolls I've ever seen you made. Yeah, I've, I've been making that many rolls with Wood Elves lately. <laughs> Wood Elves. <laughs> but um, with, with Agility 3, it's pretty bad. Um, oh, I was really bad not pushing into there. I think it was, the tree made me think it was the tree was there, and he just wasn't, was he? I could have totally pushed him there and not had to make that dodge. Used not all my rerolls to be able to get the score, though, which is fucking shit, isn't it? Ah, oh, look, just win the, win the toss uh, after scoring here and bolt to victory. That'd be alright, wouldn't it? Oh, getting that guy there isn't even good because he just stands up to fucking counter him. He's already in the fucking cage. Shit. I guess he's going to do another 3 plus leap. 
Which yeah, is maybe. Obvious. I think it's his best shot at stopping it. Yeah, of course. If you look around, there's not really... Well, no, actually, he probably still could screen it on a bunch of two pluses. Yeah, maybe he could, you know, threes and twos. I would have won 8 nil one time on Fumble, but um, but unfortunately the guy conceded and never played on Fumble again before I could win. <laughs> yeah, you can get a leap 1D easily, yeah. No. <laughs> Remember that time there was that Wood Elf team? That but what? That couldn't get a leap uh, to hit, get a hit on the ball? Oh, yeah. Do you mean all of mine? Or... No. <laughs> every, every single Wood Elf team that has ever been played could at some point leap to hit the ball. Yeah, 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 true. Yeah, true. It is always on. True. But you can make it You can make it a bit, a bit easier, can't you? A bit harder, sorry. You can make it harder. Yeah. Though. Like, like I did every single not, not turn, this TV, except, not with, except the not critical this turn. <laughs> except yeah. the critical turn eight, I made it really hard, and that was only because I failed the I don't know what eighty percent chance to knock down the the warden. So eighty percent of the time, I get that knockdown, and um, and it's all good. Yeah, you can roll some dice, can't you? I mean, it's, it's not easy for him to do, is it? He's got a what, block with a tree, which is a one in nine. I wouldn't have done that one. That's got two, what, three? Three, two hours. Yeah, I, I don't know what his plan is. Maybe it's the, just from the back? Oh, yes. I'm sure there was a better way to do it with more squares. Yeah, that seemed. But weird. it would have to be a success, and it's not a success. Yeah. I guess it's still just a. Three plus three two plus. Three. plus yeah, three. no, <laughs> that wasn't the way to do it. That's no. another thing that rustles me when people have a play that they are looking to make, which is obviously the, the dancer blitz, and they could open it up on pushes and they block, to rely on powers. Yeah. You see, you see that an awful lot in Cole. Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, like even, I had even to, the finals. Yeah, I had to power his ward answer to, to make my play. Yeah, which there, is, there was fair enough. no better play. Yeah. There was no play where you could have made it and got pushes. Yeah. That's out of the, the the one you think about with the the goal, which didn't, didn't do my. Uh... Well, he's got, does he use his reroll? I guess he has to. So he's got no rerolls in overtime at least. Fails. Hang on. KO'd. <laughs> oh. Snake of the game. Brilliant. That was, okay, I was really lucky there. I was really, I was really lucky there. Then that was pretty nice. Um, right. Unfortunately, I can't seal, seal up this square. But um, I'm gonna have to block him with wrestle. Of course not. <laughs> Oh boy. That didn't bolt, did I? Nope. Oh baby. Think it through, Jimmo. That's uh Oh my god. <laughs> Got him in the end. Yeah, on the two guys. <laughs> One, ah, two, three, right three four, five, Stay six, up. seven, double GFI. Alright, KO was nice, wasn't it? So now I guess I can blitz him. But then if I get a push, it's harder. You could do cheeky shit. Oh, never mind. I'm, I'm sure you got it. Okay. I think the other cheeky shit play could have been the dirty player one square to his right. Mummy does a single GFI blitz to get the guard white across. Guard yeah. white then 2Ds the... Yeah, that but would that's be a GFI really... that you don't need to. Like You've, got, you've got a double GFI. I, up. Up. I only saves me making the dodge and yeah, it's a GFI. Exactly. Yeah. 
So I'm going to hit again. him with tackle but just in case it goes to overtime. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I could blitz this guy, but I need to power him, wouldn't I? To save myself a GFI. Yeah. So I think don't, I don't like turn 8 and 16 players that rely on. No. <laughs> That's just me, though. No. Oh, Phew. Phew. There you go. Carefully uh, holding the wizard. These least... KO rolls will be pretty important. Yeah, at least, I made, at least I made the GFIs. Yeah, huge KO rolls now. Especially on his war dancer. Oh, looks like there's a couple of snakes on the wake ups. Just the one. On the dice log, at least. Oh. Oh, oh yep. Yeah. No war dancer. Oh, the coin toss. Receive, thanks. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> There's a chance. There's a chance. Oh, all the kids oh up of course, the, the fucking time. bullshit cyanide. cyanide. Oh, fuck me. The worst fucking thing in the game, isn't it? Fuck the World One Cup. Of the it, fu it fucking happened. Happened in the World Cup. And, and, you know, they didn't care when there was thousands of pounds on, on the line. Oh, Jesus Christ. Makes it a lot harder, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does, absolutely. It's 11 woodies now, isn't it? Yep, 11 woodies. He's got his kick as well. Fuck me, he's got his tackle. Oh, they just trade it like turn one way, missing a mummy and a pommer. <laughs> Yeah, that's literally it. Yeah, great start. Fortunately, though, he's out of rerolls. Yeah, and yeah, so there yeah, is that. I guess this could be another talking point. Yeah. Uh, did he really need to reroll that leap? Yeah, that was the thing. It was a, it, was, it was an interesting one, wasn't it? It was an interesting. Once again, the three plus five plus. Initially, you think about it, yeah, and that if you make it and get that five plus again, uh, balls on the ground, the Agi man's tied up. There's uh, Agi five elves lineman nearby. Wouldn't have been, you know, outrageous for an elf to pick that up and punt it somewhere. But, uh, yeah, no, that's, that's, that's uh, like a... It's two pros and cons of each. As I don't think it was something you had to reroll, as had the reroll for the overtime is always nice. Yeah, yeah. Does a wood off with a thrower and a catcher really need a reroll, though? You do, because there's always skulls. <laughs> And then just ending the game in normal time is uh, definitely a, a preference. Nice. So he's gone deep this time. Interesting. I mean, that lets me stay away from his war dancer at least, which is okay. Right. Let's go for the tackle block. Got him. Oh, injury. Unbelievable. Yeah. It's 10 versus 10. Even if he is just down two linemen versus <laughs> versus two of my best players, <laughs> that's still all right. Um, um, you got eleven. You had a two man bench, though, didn't you? Didn't you buy that rotter? Oh yeah, I've got eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. eight, nine, ten. I've got eleven. Ah, ho, 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 even better. Oh man, a man up for the first time uh, all game. Yeah, for the first time all fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, actually, no, that's a lie. I think you were a man at some point in the second half. Yeah, that's true. Even if, if it only was for a couple of turns. This is horrible because I can't. I know I can't reroll one in thirty sixes now, so I do need to Correct. kind of play super safe, don't I? That was a fucking legend. And because yeah, of that, I think man. I'm just going to go for the pickup right now. Legend. <laughs> <laughs> Purely based on the fact that I I cannot reroll the pickup. Well, not the pickup, the anything. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like a, a double sell now, you don't roll it, and you're just like, well, fair enough. Ooh. And, yeah, it would be unlucky to get the double skull, but when you have the option to play around it on such a drive, in that for one of these teams, it's the final drive of the game, or their, their team, even. Yeah.
Double layered the zombie screen across the pitch. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> so intense. Double layer zombie screen. <laughs> Double layer screen. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that zombie screen. I'm not going to do a foul, even with Dirty Player. Even though I'd lo as much as I'd love to. Why would you risk a, uh, a coin flip? Get some Yahtzee when you've already got a man off. Mm -hmm. Just throw away that advantage, like some sort of mad Russian. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? It really did happen in the World Cup final, yeah. Yeah, it happened, it happened all through the World Cup finals. There was loads of overtime. And it really yeah, happened in the World Every Cup. other time they got the extra roll on the KOs. Yeah. Yeah. Which I don't think anyone really knew about. Like, they all picked dwarves knowing that in the overtime format they would be low on rerolls and save two die blocks was all they needed to qualify so they they kept that in the in the final. Oh he took root! Ho oh, ho ho! Alright. He took root. That is fantastic for a slow ass team like zombies, isn't it? Tree out the game. So now he's down to nine effectively. I mean not okay, not actually but I think I think your mummy should have been on the other other side, on the right hand side, Jim. Your yeah. second mummy. Yeah, yeah, my second one. Yeah, and I probably should have. Yeah. I probably should have hit this guy with my pommer rather than a just a rookie ghoul, shouldn't I? That would have been yeah. much better. Much better to have that if that roll had been made with mighty bone piling on than nothing. How much of a madman are you? Out of ten. Good night, in Arian. How much of a madman am I? Zero. Yeah. All right. What do you think about surfing this guy? <laughs> <laughs> whole team. It's not even that bad, is yeah. it? Yeah. No, it's a two, three plus. Uh, a single three plus. Yeah. God, I still just want to blitz him with a fucking tackle, to be honest. Just because I don't need to break through anywhere, do I? But on the other hand, I and could you, you could do it with the ghoul, too. Yeah. And I'm not follow screen it out so there's no counter surf. Yeah. And having this one tackle gone for the drive. Yeah. Pretty, I'm pretty Even much have to throw it and not you. I'm pretty much have to blitz him. To I'm pretty much have to blitz him. But let's uh, let's move. Let's do the safe moves first. Safe plays first. Oh baby, I love <laughs> it. No, but that, that's my play. I'm calling it. I would I would be committing to surf that dancer. <laughs> Mad as it would be to commit uh, five men to a block. He's the only one threatening. The uh, you got eight turns. Edgy Gul could have. Arguably two man up with the tree rooting, the dancer surf uh, getting a three man up, and the only tackle gone. Typical. <laughs> <laughs> Never any doubt. I mean, it's a perfect time to on on second turn of the drive. Yeah. You have a second turn of the drive, Jelly on. And the ball is then safe. And you can make it so there's no counter surf. I'm going to push forward a little bit, so. Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, that's the other thing, too. The, the one threatening dancer now on the opposite side of the field. Trees rooted, many elves pinned. He'll have at best, what, four men screening the left. Uh, Jim can't really juke right, but he could make a big push forward and uh, then just bolt the score next time. And it's over. Yeah, being able to bolt the score is nice, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, look, you, um, but there, yeah, there's merits to both, absolutely. But if you can commit five men to surf out the one dancer that threatens you, the one dancer that's, blitz, that's done the elite blitz every turn, the one dancer that he's blitzed with every turn, yeah. Uh, on on turn eighteen, oh, I, d I didn't want to surf him, but I was always going to blitz him. Yeah. I think I think it was right to blitz him. Yeah, exactly. No, no, definitely, definitely. You're nothing wrong with, it, but I don't think the surf would have been bad. Yeah. And he gets the stun.
Is he going to GFI? Otherwise, running around there seems a bit pointless. I think it needs to tag the mummy too. It grabs against these sidesteps is doing amazing things. Mm. Imagine if that mummy was there and he forgot about grab and I just fucking surfed him straight out. That would have been, <laughs> yep. been completely amazing. Jello reckons it was very bad to get the one tackle off the field against four Lodge Ghouls. When how the would ball you, would how be would safe you, how in would the you get the man in though for the assist? The Ghoul does the one and nine dodge or or you bolt the throw if you really want to go ham. But I wouldn't bolt the throw and then the Ghoul one and nine. I did his GFI, imagine that. If he, if he rolls a one there, I'm aware. Both both Lodans is completely out of it. That was a yep. ballsy GFI. Just just to hope that I fail a one in thirty six dodge out. <laughs> Or I, likely a three dice blitz. I really fucking hate that people do that when they're like, you know, they're either giving you a, yeah, either make, dictating where I blitz, okay, fair enough, but I'm blitzing your best player. Or <laughs> I make a 1 in 36 chance, I've got a 1 in 36 chance to lose the game. It doesn't really seem worth the 1 in 6 chance he had to lose the game by doing that. Yeah, of course I could. I could fail the one in thirty-six dodge, but that doesn't make it the right play. It's somebody making you take one, does it? With the mummy, I wouldn't even need to make it three dice. I just could. Good. Get to fuck. Piece of shit. Banged on. Get banged on. And he's opened up this whole area, willing me to make this dodge. But yeah, there's kind of no reason to, because I'm just blitz. Um. Yeah. Of course, I can come this way because I've got grab. Oh, baby. I'm ready for it. Break. Break should be good. Nice. Both oh, dancers stunned. Mm. Both dancers stunned is a nice place to be, isn't it? TBH. <laughs> Yeah, nice safe pussy cage, and uh, the zombies get their two dead blocks. Well, I don't think this one because oh no, I've, yeah, I've got well, I can't get an assist though. So I think I don't play, I don't block this one. Because a push would put him in contact with the cage, wouldn't it? Which is Indeed. not something not something I want. Oh, okay, oh, it's all coming up, Jimmy. I guess I could foul, <laughs> foul the ward answer. I, I don't know, I'm out of range next nah. time. One, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI. So he's, he's out of range, plus the wizard. Um, I just take the thrower, one and six dodge. Yeah, yeah. He can blitz me into the tree, but so fucking what if he does? It's, yeah, it's it, just a zombie. Then there's no one in front of the ball. There's only four men, well, arguably five, possibly get in front of the screen, and then he's a safe stroll. Yeah. If he does make the block, it's a man that's committed to making a block, and there's only three screening. It's uh, fortuitously in the bag. Not even fortuitously, just safe, uh, safe plays. You did get the early turnover on the double skull into one in eighty-one. 
One and yeah. nine. That's it. Yeah. Manage to recover. One in three from his leap, wasn't it? Because he was out of rerolls, so that was that was good. That was brutal. That that leap fail for him, it's getting stunned as well, wasn't it? He might have been better to just not do anything because then at least I'd be taking actions to block him. If I don't, I'm only fifty five to to power him. Is it fifty five? Yeah, fifty five. Yeah, to power, to power stumble. And yeah. then and then he goes there and takes Eyes up the one and tackle. And then then he could have sidestep along and be taking a hit from the thingy as well. What was it really doing after after the leap? I guess screening out the middle to stop you rotating horizontally. Yeah, that was the plan. Yeah, if he'd been standing here, it would been stopping a lot of this, wouldn't it? Uh, with no rerolls, I think the 3 plus 2 plus might. Oh, no, it wouldn't, wouldn't matter. It's both through tackle. The Le Duble skulls. Sweet. All right. So I've got to make safe moves first, haven't I? I guess I just want to blitz him. And then make a cage up here. I've got to get away from him, though. So I really want to blitz him. I could block him. <laughs> I literally have to stand here. There's nowhere else I can stand. Yeah, look, base in cage corner is always uh, spooky, but if it's uh, on a two strength catcher and you can. Position your cage in a mount that doesn't let him get a single assist. Hmm. It then becomes not too shabby. In the same way that you often see, maybe not four strength fellas, you know, like a mummy on a, on a catcher or something. Yeah. Or I mean, when Camry comes out, you'll see a lot of it. Oh, geez, As players won't really be able to. Well, power me, I'll clear my goal, which is nice, isn't it? Oh, maybe. Right, that stops him getting two dice on him anyway. Guaranteed. And this guy, I guess, might as well base him. Guess I could have done that first. Yeah, look, just outside of tackle dancer range, and yeah, that's that's the key thing, isn't it? Being outside of him, I'm just bolting if he bases me. Yeah. And yeah, then then denying the two, like out, outside of red for a double power into follow. Also, I'm just in range of scoring, aren't I? Three, white. four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So this was this was absolutely this place to stand. It means he's got a yeah. GFI twice to base me, and I'm in scoring range without without rolling a dice, and he can only one dice me at best. Well, as I was saying, when the catcher into the white for double success, the one and nine. No, yeah, yeah, he could do that. It's the uh, Marcus's. The Aji man does bullshit for a two line. Yeah, he could do that. But I mean, at least, you know, there's always there's always a one and nine to do. Yeah. Yeah, that, that will always happen. But I mean, that, that is the most realistic play, I think. And if you can have your opponent's most realistic play, be, you know, one and nines or, you know, five or six passes. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? 
Yeah. Pretty happy about Joe hands on him, by the way, because it meant there was only one more dancer to worry about. And it also yeah, absolutely. I rolled a one on the pickup um, at least once. So, pretty nice. Let's not give him too many ideas he's watching, by the way, everybody. <laughs> oh. um, yeah, yeah. of course, he's got, he's got things that you can do, but it's it's very hard for him, isn't it? It's very hard for him to do better than Yeah, absolutely. Knows. After the luck in the first half with the removals, and, you know, it's unsurprising. Like, as you always say, the ones and skulls over the course of the match. And this, this overtime half has been the one half where you weren't banged on. Yeah. Yeah, the first half was was hard. Wow, 250 people. That's crazy. I oh, doubt 229 now. Oh, <laughs> skull or skull. I'll choose this one. <laughs> Injured. <laughs> oh, two star play points. Wow. Not that it matters, but you know, in future, maybe. Do you know what? I'm not even going to do the good man is bolt. Because no one's cyanide. <laughs> Do <laughs> um. <laughs> the good manners bolt all right? The people will be so pleased. There's 200 people that will be pissed if you don't good manners bolt. Yeah, okay then. Okay. Good manners bolt. Okay, y'all. <laughs> um, Fair enough. There's no one. Uh, <laughs> I really was terrified that something crazy would happen. I could base this guy in three dice him with block, but. 25 isn't going to do not anything. Worth no, no. if he gets left, 7, sure. it's not going to do anything. If he gets 7, it's not going to do anything. So, yeah. If so, if somebody could have got a Kaz and an MVP to level, I would have thought about it. But, um... Madman. Absolute madman. Yeah, I would have thought about it. I didn't say I would have done it, but I would have thought about it. <laughs> a three dice with block, with a reroll, I, th I would have definitely thought about taking it. Bought the tree. Ah, oh, sorry. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, I was sorry. I just it was just automatic to go for the war dancer. Automatic to go for the war dancer. I couldn't. I couldn't help. I couldn't help going for the war dancer. It's just. <sighs> Thank you, Orielensis. VIP Orielensis. <laughs> check, check for no player bodies in the end zone. Yeah, and I get the four, which is just enough for the wizard. <laughs> Whatever happens. So I'm not going to roll that, obviously. Um. So that's good. So good. Yeah, look, a, a real good recovery through safe plays after that disastrous first half. Thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, it was. Yeah, I felt I felt a little bit hard done by. Oh, oh no, I think we got double MVP then. Yeah, I felt a little bit hard done by that first that first half. Here, wait, I'll bring myself back on. Bosh. I felt a little bit hard done by that first half. I, I played really fucking safe all the way up. He never had a good leap in, and on the last turn, it was eighty percent to knock down that ward answer. Didn't get it, and then that meant I had. To, well, maybe I didn't have to. Maybe I could have rolled. Maybe I couldn't have. Maybe I shouldn't have re-rolled the bl block on him, and then maybe made a GFI or two to make it safe. Um, is what I could have done, but uh, I don't know. I felt I felt better, you know, risking a one in thirty-six failure than re-rolling a, a one in six failure from a G potential one in six failure from a GFI. So. Um, yeah, I, I wasn't a huge fan of the roll, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I, I understood that you had a plan and a play that was, you know, relied on getting the power stumble. Yeah, that was the thing. If if I get the power there, the cage is safe, hundred percent. Exactly. Safe. Yeah. Exactly. So the, and the extra I figure, makes the guard corner. Yeah, and I figure if I get the push and then I make the GFI and I fail the GFI and I have to re-roll it, then maybe that's worse re than re you know go on the one in thirty-six. Plus, he's a wardens. I'm getting the wardens with mighty blow. If I if I make that block, if I make that knockdown. You know, with tackle. Oh no, he's not. Wasn't a with my blow. It was a tackle. So there was a good chance that my and he's he's armor seven, isn't he? He's a war dancer. So um, I think that was um, 
And that was a nice a nice thing to do was to go for that block and then and then the one time he makes his three plus five plus, which again isn't that unlikely to make a three plus five plus, but it, it's obviously not not nice when it happens. Then I then luckily after the mummy catching it, because it was lucky. Although some people said, "Do you think this is a good thing?" It, it was it was a good thing because it meant that he ju couldn't just pick it up with his agility five and fucking long bomb it away, could he? So yeah, it was, for it sure, was, it was definitely better. It's better than being on the ground in a tackle zone adjacent just the mummy. Exactly, for sure, hundred yeah. yeah. percent. Yeah, thank you very much, Nerdfrog, for the follow. And then, and then after that, um, so you know, it's just a four plus. And if I'd made the knockdown on him, I could have just then scored with one touchdown, uh, one one GFI. Sorry. And then even then, four two two wasn't that hard, was it? With with a reroll, like it's it seemed really shitty handing off to a zombie to GFI twice, but um, it wasn't actually. It was probably his touchdown that he scored was less likely, wasn't it? Probably. Um, yeah. Well, look, it was good defense on the moment with the double. Couple uh, sides. Oh yeah, he, he played very well to stop me getting away from him. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, yeah it was absolutely. still six, sixty-four percent the score there on the last turn. Well, I mean, was... anyone that makes a score on kind of four plus, you know, you've, you've done a pretty good job. Oh yeah, he did. He did a good job. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But then obviously he was he was he he got rid of the he got rid of the piling on mighty blows instantly. Oh yeah, which yeah, helped absolutely. him out immensely. I mean, it it, it wasn't bad to go to for the it. foul, but I just thought it was very. Oh, no, I didn't like it. It was I very risky was to go for the bad. one dice blitz to set it up. I thought that was the thing. That was the thing that was, was a bit crazy going for that one dice blitz to set yeah. it up. If he didn't have to, he do could have that. just had two assists and then do the foul on the far side and just yeah. left the mummy alone or dodged out from the mummy. I think that would have been more tolerable. Even though I would have hated it and you know lamented about uh, a foul getting a Kaz and not getting sent off in a finals match, yeah. where you're putting ultimate risk on the line for, <laughs> uh, for ultimate reward yeah. and then getting away with it. Yeah, but I mean that that's okay because I guess he thought if he's getting banged on by piling on mighty blow every turn, he would end up with no team at all. His TD was seventy three percent. Ah, so there you go. So, so we were yeah. pretty close. We were pretty close. And then obviously I had to make the two plus. I well, I had to make in the end. I made two two GFIs to score as well, didn't I? In normal time, um, and a dodge. So, um, but then you know you could argue I was unlucky not to get the knockdown with the three dice or a both down. So I was, I was really high percentage just to get the knockdown or the both down with the wrestle with the first three dice block. And then I could have blitzed the the other guy, and then my my touchdown would have been a lot easier than than three two pluses. But um, you know, I don't know. I thought oh, it was a good game. I thought he definitely he definitely played well enough. It was just um, but it was easier for him not yeah. to face the pal Maybe I shouldn't have blitzed with the tackle pommer there because I knew he was going to be um, he was going to be exposed. Yeah, the the OT the OT coin toss did win the did decide the game. Yeah, pretty much. Um, Weren't you down a man as well as I mean, before the Pommer did the thing? Yeah. Was the Pommer the first removal? Um, no, the Pommer did the KO the guy, KO the guy, and then and then after that, things gone went wrong. Well, it's yeah, not really so the guess, Sage I mean, rule led the mad. I've said that before. <laughs> <laughs> I think a few people have said that before. It's, it's it's not rocket science or brain surgery or neuroscience, which he doesn't do. <laughs> but, um, never mind. Three plus pass for the pass skill. Yeah, it was it was pretty. Yeah, then he got two guys back from the reroll glitch. Yeah, that's true. The two guys back for, the, for that glitch is pretty bad. Next skill on the MVP goal, it'd be um, I don't know, fucking sidestep probably. Then he, he's then he's a um, bit of a nines, isn't he, with block tackle sidestep? Um, Maybe have another gander at Hibby's team. <laughs> and, uh, can't play the mummy. I'm sure, I'm sure there are people who are keen for. Yep, so teams. down to 14 30. Down to 14 30, so I might be able to buy. Uh, he's going to be able to buy a wizard, though, so even if I do buy a mummy, um, I'll be on. I'll be on fifteen fifty. So I'm sure he'll he'll cut his TV so that I'm not getting a wizard if I buy the mummy. Um, so he's currently sixteen eighty, but thirty of its money. He's he's absolutely going to buy a wizard. I imagine so. Well, I guess if he's keeping there the team, there is no doubt about it. To. Yeah, but he's going to isn't he? No, no, he's buying a wizard. If if, if I'm <laughs> playing Jimmy Fanta final of the league and I've got enough money for a wizard, I'm buying a wizard. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, because I can buy a wizard instead, Carlo Ancelotti, and and he might just take me out. He's got Bludge Werewolves. He might just take out a mummy turn one. I like the. Come for the zombies too as well. You know, he's he's got a he's got a dirty player zombie. He's got a mighty blow piling on white. Um, and he's got bludge bludge tackle dogs. Um, so, you know, he's he's absolutely buying a wizard. So, of course, if this was the real rules, he wouldn't be able to buy a wizard because he'd get me me extra things. 
That is the question, Advark. That is the question. I would definitely rather have a me for 16 turns against Wood Elves. But um, but against un, against Necros, it's going to be hard to deal with these two werewolves with dodge, isn't it? With blodge. And two ghouls with blodge as well. So he's got as many blodges as the as the where as the um, wood elves had, but he's also got two guard, and he's also got a pommer, and he's got two block stand firm fleshies. I mean, he's got two players. He's got fourteen players. He's got a hell of a team. So um, I'd be kind of tempted to go for the wizard. I don't know. It's going to be tough though. I wish I could get Setek, but that's that's of course not an option. I mean, I can get them both, can't I? I can get both of them on actually because I've got two hundred. I'm 200 TV down, and then I could put in 100 of my own money and then get get the wizard and a merc mummy. Maybe I could get a merc mummy. Actually. I'd be a bit worried about uh, sneaky stuff like firing that 14 zombie yeah. and dropping it down below wizard, wizard, wizard at range. Yeah. 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 Well, that's the thing. We just What's the know. rules with the league? Do you do inducements? In I've got no idea what happens with the inducements, um, to be honest. But I mean, he's he's sixteen eighty, but already thirty of its money, so he's only sixteen fifty anyway. So he can he can definitely sack one or two one or two zombies, can't he? But he probably doesn't want to because with with mighty blow and pom, I could bang on him a little bit. So it'll be it'll be interesting. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. Stay fantastic.